Hey guys, this is Ulrich from Nostalgic Mathematics. Today we will try to solve this problem. We will find the shortest distance between a line and an ellipse. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. So we are given the line L, y plus x equals 8 and this ellipse. So what we do first is that we just want to characterize the ellipse. So a point M of coordinates x, y belong to the ellipse if we have this. Actually, we just had one on both sides and reorganize the terms. So next, we see that this is a square and this is also a square. So what we do next is that we may want to parameterize this ellipse. So basically what we do is that we want y minus 3 to be the sign and x over 2 minus 1 to be a cosine. So we use this new way to parameterize the ellipse. So if we set y minus 3 to be the sine of theta, we will have y equals 3 plus sine theta. If we do the same thing here with cosine theta, x could be rewritten as follows. And we just take theta in the interval minus pi and pi. Now, what we do next is that for a given point, m theta belonging to L, you just want to have the shortest distance between m theta and the line L. So we use this formula because we have this equation for this line. So we have y theta plus x theta minus 8. We take the absolute value of this over the square root of the sum of the square of all the parameters of all the coefficients here. So we have 1 square plus 1 square. So it will rest as follows. At the denominator, we're going to have the square root of 2. And here, we replace y theta and x theta by the values. And we know that 2 plus 3 minus 8 is going to be minus 3. So we have this new formula for the distance. But what's interesting here is that we know that cosine and sine are less or equal to 1. So that 2 times cosine theta plus sine theta is less or equal to 3. So this is negative, so we know how this absolute value we write. And we call it f theta, so we're going to have 3 minus 2 cosine theta minus sine theta over the square root of 2. And this is b, we call this the function f theta. So basically, to find the shortest distance between the ellipse and the line, we should basically minimize the function f. Now, let's focus on this expression 2 cosine theta plus sine theta now it reverses as this so you know this trick actually we're just looking for the square root of 2 square plus 1 square which is square root of 5 and this is going to be the cosine of a, give, of a given angle and this is going to be the sine of a given angle let's call this angle phi and we know that cosine phi is 2 over the square root of 5 and sine phi is 1 over the square root of 5. We can do this because actually when we take these values to the power 2 and we add them together, we have 1 as follow. So with these, we know that this expression we write as follow. So we use the addition formulas in trigonometry and we can characterize phi because actually we know that because the sine and the cosine is positive, phi lies in the first quadrant. So we know that phi is going to be arctangent of 1 over 2. We're going to use this shortly. Next, f theta rewrites as follow. So as we said, the problem here is to minimize this function over this interval. So it may be useful to compute the first and the second derivative of this function. It is straightforward because we know very well the cosine and the sine functions. So the first derivative rewrites as follow because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we have this, and the second derivative gives us this. Now, to have the minimum, we just have to find the zeros of the first derivative. So actually, when we set this equal to zero, we have sine of theta minus phi equals zero. So theta minus phi should be a multiple of pi. But here, we have two cases. Actually, we have theta minus phi, which is zero, or theta minus phi, which is minus p. Now, the first question, we ruled out theta 
e equals phi plus pi because if you do phi plus pi, we will go past the upper bound, which is pi here, because phi is positive. And if we do phi minus 2 times pi, we will go below minus, minus pi. So we can do this. So we have two cases on this interval. Now we have two cases. We need to identify which is the minimum case. So we just look at the second derivative. So the second derivative of phi is positive because, you know, when we push theta equals phi here, we're going to have cosine of zero. So we have this, which is positive. And when you use phi minus pi, we have something negative. So we know that the minimum is reached for theta equals phi. But phi minus pi is going to be the maximum value. But actually, we are looking for the minimum. So with the same technique, we could have found the maximum. But here, we're interested by the minimum. And this minimum is f phi, which is 3 minus square root of 5 over square root of 2, because cosine of 0 is 1. And the right answer is B. Thank you for your attention. Again, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and post your comments. Bye.